Today we're making onions and potatoes in the oven. This is a must try. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this. Look at this delicious dish, onions, potatoes. It smells delicious and you're gonna be so surprised. It is incredibly easy to make. Mm. Amazing. To get started on making our potatoes and onions in the oven, we're gonna start with our potatoes. So I've peeled six potatoes here. So we're cutting our potatoes in half and then into chunks like this. Add everything, all of our ingredients to this bowl. So this summer, my family and I were in Greece and I have never made this recipe and it's so easy and simple, but Arthea made it for us when we were in the village and it was delicious. And my kids even liked it, so I thought I would make it for them at home. And I love to share different potato recipes. This one is gonna be one of your favorites, I can tell. So cut this up. Now we have our potatoes, next our onion. So we're gonna use two whole onions. I've already cut one right here, so I'm gonna add that to the bowl. We're gonna cut that, just peel your onion. Cut it in half, flip that over, and we're just gonna slice it. Add our onions there. So now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients, salt, pepper, oregano, and garlic. So if you have a garlic clove, chop up two garlic cloves. I have minced garlic here, so I'm gonna do a teaspoon of minced garlic. Next, sea salt and pepper. I'm only gonna add a half a teaspoon of pepper, but you guys can add this according to taste because you're gonna change this recipe for how many potatoes you make based on how many people you're making this for. I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of oregano. Then we're gonna add one and a half cups of olive oil. We're gonna mix all of this together. I am using clean hands to mix this because I wanna break up all the onions and I wanna make sure the olive oil is all over the onion and potatoes. Next, we're just gonna add that right to our Pyrex dish. I have preheated our oven, 375, and I'm gonna put our potatoes and our onions down here. And next, I'm gonna add two cups of water. You can also use vegetable broth if you like. Our um, family uses water, so I'm gonna keep their recipe. I'm gonna pour the water right to the side of the pan before I put it in the oven. So we're gonna add the water right to the edge. Anytime I add any liquid to the potato recipe is when I do lemon potatoes or these potatoes, I always add it right to the side. Perfect, these are ready to go in the oven. Leave that in there for about 45 minutes to an hour depending on when they're fork tender. Look at this amazing dish. For the full recipe, visit NikkiGlekis.com. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Today we're making homemade applesauce. Apple picking is a fun tradition that me and my kids do each and every year. And then I'm left with a million apples and I have to come up with all these recipes to use them. So today I'm making homemade applesauce and we're gonna use about six to eight apples depending on how big. So I have a bunch of apples cut here and I'm just gonna peel these apples. And you know, depending on where you go, you have all the different variety and I'll be embarrassed if I try to mention them all. I only know a few, but when you go apple picking, depending on what farm you go to, they have them all labeled for you and it's always fun to try them and see which different apples you like. But I love baking with them and applesauce is a great recipe because it pairs so well with so many things. Your kids could eat it or you can eat it alone, but it also works really well with pork, um, we're gonna make them with sweet potatoes. You can do it with so many things. So we're gonna take our apple. We're going to cut it 
and just cube it and we'll get it ready to cook. So we have our apples ready and now we can go to the stove to cook our apples. So in our pot, we're gonna add our apples. I have medium heat. I'm gonna do half a cup of water, a quarter cup of sugar. We're gonna do a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And last, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of lemon juice right on top. Perfect, and now we're just gonna let these cook and simmer. I'm gonna give it a little toss. Now I'm gonna cover this and we're gonna leave it on medium heat for about 15, 20 minutes. Our applesauce is cooked and I'm gonna mash this up. So this is your preference on how much you mash it. If you want it nice and chunky, you can leave it and don't have to mash it too much. I'm gonna kind of do it, mash it a little and leave a little chunks as well. Now that I've mashed that up, I'm gonna spoon it out to this bowl. This smells amazing. It will really smell up the house. So if you wanna have nice smell in the house, cook up some apples with cinnamon, Delicious. I'm just gonna garnish this. If you are serving this, garnish it with a little cinnamon sticks and a little cinnamon. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and this is all ready. For the full recipe, visit NikkiKlekis.com. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram for great holiday entertaining tips. Today we're gonna make caramel bread pudding. Mm. To get started on making our caramel bread pudding, we're gonna first make our caramel sauce. So I have a pan here that I put on high heat and we're gonna slowly add sugar. And we're gonna cook our sugar to make our caramel sauce. So now our sugar has all dissolved and we made this beautiful light caramel sauce. So now we're gonna go and assemble our dish. So we have eight cups of chopped bread here. You can use wedges, baguette, whatever bread you have, even sliced bread. And we're gonna get started with five eggs. And add that to the bowl. Sugar. We're gonna whisk this together first. Next, we're gonna add our milk and our heavy cream. I'm gonna pour this in. Next, we're gonna add in vanilla. Mix that together. And last, we're gonna add in our bread. So we're gonna take the bread, we're gonna soak that in. We want all the bread to soak up our liquid. Look at that, it smells amazing. We'll take our baking sheet here. I preheated the oven at 375. So I'm gonna take some cooking spray Spray that and the sides. And then I'm gonna pour in all of our bread mixture into this. Straighten it out. Perfect. Now we're gonna take our caramel sauce, our homemade caramel sauce that we've already made. And I'm gonna drizzle it all over the top. 
for bacon. That. Bread pudding is one of those dishes you really can add so many different variations. You can add chocolate, you could do fig, caramel. There's so many different things. You can add raisins. So this is a fun dish to work with. So this caramel one will be a nice treat for hoping my kids will eat it. So I've added that in there. And now we're gonna put that in the oven. Look at this beautiful color on our caramel bread pudding. Look at this, it's delicious. Out. That looks delicious. For the full recipe, visit NikkiQuackis.com and don't forget, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram for more entertaining tips.